shown in the first two pictures are the, is the entire setup with the Arduino, the fan, the trash bag, the relay, and the two batteries. Shown here is the Arduino with the two batteries and the relay. Here is the motion sensor that will be placed to flush the geese. Here is the entire video showing of how that everything works from the motion sensor to that triggers a relay that triggers the, or finishes off the circuit to turn the fan on. My battery is running low, that is why the bag is not fully inflated. Geese have always been a nuisance for wheat farmers. Unlike grazing cattle, geese pull the whole plant up, roots and all, whereas cattle just eat the leaves of the plant. Every year geese cause farmers to lose thousands of dollars of income by eating wheat. When geese migrate down to the southern states for winter, they come in massive flocks that can devastate a wheat field within a matter of a few days. Traditionally there are a couple ways to rid them, by hunting, driving through them, and putting barrels out in the middle of the field, just to name a few. These methods work, but these methods work, but hunting is fun, yet expensive and time-consuming. Driving through them is also expensive and time-consuming. However, placing barrels in the field is effective for a while until the geese learn what it is. We've also tried fireworks, which was very effective, but it was also impractical. My project is des designed to be completely self-contained and trouble-free. It starts with the motion sensor, which will be placed within 20 yards of where the geese have been landing. Once the geese land, the movement will set off the sensor which runs through the Arduino which sets off a relay that triggers the fan and siren. The fan blows up like a balloon which in theory will flush the geese along with the siren blaring. Some of the safety factors for the electrical side in which I avoided being electrocuted by double checking my wiring and making sure I had a safe environment. I originally had designed to use household items such as a ceiling fan and property light. But upon further research, Mr. Charleston and I decided to stay on a 12-volt circuit. With Mr. Charleston's vast knowledge of everything, he was able to help me with my struggles. My original design had cut tails that the fan would blow, but they all ended up getting cut in half by the fan during the Maker's Fair. Ms. Foster and I started thinking about other, a better way to figure out how to flush the geese, so we taped a trash bag over it. The bag worked well, but it needed holes so it wouldn't pop. We taped both sides of the bag, inside and out, in several places so it wouldn't tear. Then we cut the tape. The fan airs up the bag, which should flush the geese off the field, since it is an unpredictable element that the geese won't get used to. It took me about three weeks to come up with the idea for the ULEARN Academy and to design it. it soon, I soon had a flow, flaw in my design due to the different voltages that were things ran on. I could have finished in two weeks if I had my design right and all the parts. It ended up taking me close to 15 weeks from finding the right circuit to programming and waiting on shipping. I had such a hard time finding the right circuit program with the Arduino because there's nothing out there like it. I spent many hours researching for the right circuit program and I was able to give up. I was about to give up, but Mr. Charleston pointed me in the right direction. He was able to help me with the circuit and advised me to put a relay in, which is basically an electronic switch. Another problem I had was the wires on the fan were backwards. I have a few future plans for the goose spooker, as most people call it, to make it completely self-contained with a solar panel and with something a bit more spookier than a trash bag with holes in it.